Hey guys, before the video starts, I just wanted to say that if this video reaches 150 likes, I will be doing a tutorial on how to make your own Assetto Corsa traffic server. So, like up the video, sub, leave a comment, join my Discord server, and enjoy the video. Alright guys, I actually forgot to say this before the video started, but before anything else, you're going to want to install Content Manager. So to install Content Manager, go on this website, link in the description and scroll down and press right here download light version and then it will download it and just set up the whole app and then you're good sorry about that yo what's going on guys in this video i'll be showing you guys how to set up your Assetto corsa so that you can join Assetto corsa servers using content manager and so that you know how to download mods in the future and stuff like that so before the video starts i want to make sure you guys know something so you guys must have the normal version of Assetto Corsa, not the Assetto Corsa Competizione, or you must have the Assetto Corsa Ultimate Edition. So you can get the Ultimate Edition from websites like G2A and CD Keys, even though I would not recommend buying keys from there because there's a chance that you can be banned. And I've had friends be banned for buying keys from there, so you guys, I would highly recommend buying it from Steam themselves when it goes on sale, or just buy it from CD Keys and take that risk. But also make sure that your PC specs are at least above a um, Ryzen 5 2600X and make sure that you have at least 16 gigabytes of RAM and that your graphics card is at least above a 1660 or I'm sorry, a GTX 1660. And if you have a laptop, those specs should be good enough to run the game. But if you have a PC, then, you know, I think you're good just maybe uh, lower the graphics a little bit because even I get lower frame rates on a good PC and I have a 3060 so thank you guys for a thousand subscribers and also join my discord server because in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up the, the game using my discord servers um, cars or sorry my set of course of service cars so yeah, just so you guys don't get confused, I would highly recommend that you download the cars and just play on my servers instead because all the other servers are very laggy and very unoptimized to use very laggy cars. So I would highly recommend that you guys just join my Discord server and play on my servers because they're a million times better. Anyways, enough with the self-promotion and let's get into the video. So, first thing you guys are going to want to do is go <coughs> to the Discord server. <coughs> Sorry, I'm sick. You want to look for the channel with the car pack the traffic pack and the map downloads and then the server links so what you guys want to do is in the car pack you want to look you want to download the car pack for the server that you want to play on so srp stands for Shotoko revival project that's the map that's um based in japan so what you guys want to do is go over here and you want to download it and then when you download it you can either one or sorry i downloaded the map um the car pack so you can either one download the uh, car pack and then drag and drop it to your content manager and then have content manager do it itself and there is a very 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 slight chance of content manager corrupting the cars I'm telling you guys it's like under 1% of it corrupting the cars when you do this so sometimes it happens but sometimes it doesn't so I would highly recommend that if you're lazy then just do this but if you want to make a hundred percent sure that you don't get any errors then do this right here so what you guys want to do is open up your steam go to library and go hover over a set of corsa right click go down to manage go right go down to bra browse local files and then open the folder that it opens in file explorer you can now minimize steam and then what you want to do is open your content folder open your cars folder and then now you have the place where you want to drag and drop the cars so open up this folder right here <coughs> then open up this little folder that's inside of this and boom so now you have all the cars right here so what you would want to do is <coughs> drag and drop these cars into here so you highlight all these cars and then grab them and you move them over i'm not going to do that because i already have all those cars so it's not a smart move for me so and then if it tells you to replace I would highly recommend replacing cars because you can get errors for having duplicates of a certain car. So now that you're done with the traffic pack and the car pack, you would do the same thing for the car pack and the traffic pack too. 
So, what you guys want to do now is get the map. So, <clears throat> for the map, you go download the map, SRP download, then you go over here, and then you, sorry about the notifications, I'm going to put my phone on silent. And then download it, and then you drag and drop it to your content manager. And then go up here, and then install. And then boom, you should be good on the map and the car pack. And so, now what you need to do is download Soul and CSP. You need these. Most cars require you to use CSP or else the cars will be corrupted. Did not just put my phone on silent? Sorry, let me put my phone on, do not disturb. And then, what you want to do now is go over here. here give me a second. Sorry, I'm trying to make it as quiet as possible. So you guys want to go over here and never get the recommended version. It's always too old to run on servers. Get 0 0.1.78 and then go over here. Oh, I'm not going to do it. But basically, you download this. And then when you download it, you drag and drop it to your content manager. Literally doing this is as easy as drag and drop and click. So drag and drop it. Then over here. If it says um, cannot install two things at once, just close your content manager and then reopen it. And if not, then just go over to downloads and press install. And now you should be good. So just to make sure that you do have CSP, go over to settings, go over to custom shaders patch, and then go over to about and updates and make sure that your your and make sure that your available version is above 0 0.1.77 because 0 0.1.77 is the minimum version that a lot of servers use nowadays. So if you're watching this video in the future, I would I would recommend that you use um, the newest version, but this video is being recorded in July 2022. So as of now, the um, newest version is 0 0.1.78. I'm not going to install it because I actually have the paid version of this, so I'm not going to do that. But if you're on any, if you're on an older version, just update to this or this. <clears throat> so now for Soul. So. For Soul, what you're going to want to do is it's going to tell you to make a race department account. So I'm actually going to open this on a guest. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to this page. I'll leave the link in the description. And I'll also leave the link in the description for CSP2. And then do not click this. Do not click this. I Get an ad block because these people do not care about what type of ads go on their website. So get an ad blocker that's not the download button that is not like do not click that please do not click that look for this button right here you're probably gonna get a virus if you do that actually no you are gonna get a virus if you do that so please don't do that do not click that all right I just want to make sure that you guys don't get a virus so log in or register an account to download this content so what you guys are gonna want to do is go over here to register and you guys do not have to pay I know you guys see all the prices but you do not have to pay all you have to do is scroll down and press join with a basic account here I don't know why it's so hidden but click on the word here and then right here you type in all your information and the verification code name and color of our website logo in English blah 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 I'm too lazy you guys can do that yourself <coughs> and then type in your name password blah 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 you get what I'm saying and then you go over there and then you download um so oh, is that a photo? That is a photo. and then you want to download Soul, and now you have Soul 2.2.2, .2 whatever you want to call it, who cares. Then, um, it says 22 minutes, what in the world? Oh my gosh, okay. Um, and you want to go over to your Steam. Actually, I'm probably just going to pause this and wait for it to download, because I want to show you guys how to do this. So, I'm going to wait for it to download, and I'll be back when it's downloaded. Alright, what's up guys, so, back to where we left off. So basically, what you guys are going to want to do now is you're going to want to install Soul. So to install Soul, I already show you guys how to download it. So to install it, you're going to want to go to over here in Steam, go to library, go to the games, go over to Instead of Corsa, right click, go down to manage, browse local files, and now open the little folder that it opens in Instead of Corsa right here. <coughs> and now to... Um, install soul you're gonna want to open the folder that it downloaded then open this then you have all these right here so don't mess with this right here unless you want to I don't know I don't think you should but get these 
and then drag and drop <coughs> these folders right here into your set of course our root folder and then boom you're done with soul sorry guys in the video i forgot to say one more thing so what you guys are going to want to do just to make sure that soul is currently running you guys are going to want to go up to your settings and then on the left click on custom shaders patch under extensions at the very bottom at least it should be at the very bottom go look for weather effects then click on it then in controller script and weather script make sure that yours is running soul 2.2 and make sure that your weather script is running soul. So I'm actually running pure because it's, uh, um, I'm just using pure. Basically just another thing like soul. But yeah, just make sure that that's running. And then you should be good. And so if you do have the ultimate edition of the game and you would like to download the DLCs, all you have to do is go over here, go to library, Assetto Corsa, right click, properties, go over here, down to DLC, and make sure that all of these are checked so that you do not get the required DLC might be missing error if you do get the required DLC might be missing error I have another video on that but I'm gonna show you guys how to do it today so what you guys are gonna want to do is um, go to the link in the description and I already have like a copy of it on my PC so you basically just gonna want to open the folder and you're gonna see these five files right here so you're gonna want to drag. Oh yeah! Before I, before I do this, I'm gonna tell you guys. Um, this does not work on the cut up no hezzy FDR servers because they're losers. They're losing out on uh, business opportunities by not allowing this. <coughs> so it works on my FDR server. So if you're looking for FDR servers to play on, just play on mine. So what you guys are gonna want to do is go over to Steam, go to Library, right click on Set of Corsa, Manage, Browse Local Files, open the folder that it just opened. I think you guys are getting the hang of this, right? And then you're gonna want to drag and drop these five files right here into your root folder and then it's gonna tell you that there are five files with the same name or something along those lines as long as it tells you to replace some files then you should be good just press replace and then boom now the content manager thinks that you have the DLCs <coughs> so this won't actually give the DLCs it's just the DLC files that makes content manager think that you have DLCs so that it doesn't give you that error so I mean yeah that's pretty much it for the video also um if this video reaches 150 likes I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make your own traffic a set of course a server yes step by step on how to make your own traffic a set of course a server so just leave a comment and drop a like if 150 you guys like this video then I'll drop a video like that but yeah peace out make sure to join my discord server we're getting close to 3,000 members on my discord server and my YouTube channel is on the road to 2,000 subscribers, so yeah, appreciate it. I just set up your game for you step by step for completely free, so uh, the least that you guys could do is sub, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Peace out.